Weebly versus Wix, website creators. Let's talk about them. Recently, I sat down with my old faithful Weebs, Weebly website creation tool and I started to build my website. And as I started to build my website, I had in the back of my head something that Gary Vaynerchuk, the social media guru on YouTube, had said, and that was that your website has to be really mobile friendly. Now, I know Weebly has a mobile friendly way of turning your desktop website into mobile friendly. So while I was doing it, I, I looked at it in the mobile friendly view. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, oops, problem. Because I just made some graphics, a graphic banner and put it on the website. And when it went into the mobile website, it was cropped in the wrong way. But the problem was I couldn't edit the mobile version of it. Weebly just does it automatically, which was a problem. And <laughs> I was like, oh no, I've just sat down to do this website and use Weebly, which I know, and I just wanted to get it done and move on with my online teaching. But I know a website's important. And so I was in a dilemma. What do I, what do, I do? The answer was, I moved to Wix, which is like Weebly, but um, it allows you to edit the mobile view of the website, which is amazing. Um, so I just wanted to share in this video a little bit about why I did that and the journey of it. Um, basically, you know, 80% of people are looking at your website through a mobile and uh, well, at least 55. Um, and up to 80. So really, as Gary Vaynerchuk says, you've got to build your website as if it's being watched on a mobile. And when you do that in Weebly, it's automatic. And the thing is, now that I'm getting into uh, social media marketing and website marketing, email marketing and online forms and things like that for the courses that I'm going to learn to teach as a teacher, as an online teacher, this is going to be an essential part of it. But when you put it in as a bit of HTML code that you copy and paste into Weebly, it looks great on the desktop, but when it comes to the mobile, it goes all funny sometimes and you've got no control over it. Now, I don't want to start buying a domain name and setting up a new website only to realize that I'm going to be constantly frustrated with how the mobile view looks. So I spent two days researching the alternatives, which is basically, you know, WordPress, uh, Weebly and Wix. Now there's others out there, but for me, those were the top three. Now I know if I'm a grown up, I should be using WordPress, but, um, do you know what? I really don't have the time for the learning curve that WordPress is or to pay a developer, etc., to do it. Or, and I, I can't afford at this early startup stage spending a thousand pounds every four to six months to update my website. So I've been there. I've done that with web developers and so on. They're great. But at this stage, I just don't have that level of investment. I have to put that level of investment to other things like this camera, for example. That left me with Weebly and Wix. I spent a lot of time comparing them and it all came down to Wix's mobile editor. Basically what happens is you, these are Weebly and Wix are both drag and drop editors. You, you, you take something, you drag it in, you move it around on the page until it's the way you look, you like it. And then that's what it looks like on your website. Brilliant. And that's great in the desktop versions, but you click a button and it tells, shows you what it will look like in the mobile version. In the mobile version, you can't edit it in Weebly, but you can edit it in Wix. And the beautiful thing is when you edit it in the Wix website, you've got the little mobile window and you can drag things and make them bigger, smaller, reduce the font, etc. So it all looks 
decent in the mobile view and if things overlap you can pull them up and push them down. When you're doing all of that it doesn't change the desktop version at all. In fact on the mobile version you can hide certain things. You might think well if someone's out on the mobile they're not really going to have a time to look at this that and the next thing and you want to make it more punchy so you can hide it in the mobile version but in the desktop version it's all there. Brilliant. I feel a bit unfaithful to be quite honest. I've used Weebly for, for five years and loved it and so many of my friends are using it and so much of the world is using it um, but I found a new love <laughs> and it's Wix and I really do love it. The, the, the templates are really um, modern, up-to-date, they're like Apple websites and things like that. It's really slick. I love it and quite straightforward to use as well. And you can, when you drag and drop things, you can drag and drop them anywhere you like. It's like designing something on Pages or Publisher or, you know, a Word document. It, where you put it is where it goes and that's it. Whereas Weebly, it kind of pushes you into putting it in this block or that block and chunking it around the place. It's less flexible. So it, that's amazing. But there's one drawback and that is if ever I want to update the template with Weebly you can do that no problem. With Wix you can't. You're stuck with your template, that's it for life as it were. You have to redesign it all if you want to. That's not too hard to do once you know how to do it anyway so I'm not too fussed about that. So in conclusion, as, teacher, as a teacher I need a website that is the home base of everything I teach and everything I do, something that I can add to really easily and flexibly and grow and develop as I grow and develop what I'm doing. And that's why I need a WYSIWYG. Um, what you see is what you get and the two best options are Weebly and Wix and I've had to say goodbye to Weebly and hello to Wix. So here's, here's, a, here's my website that I've just created. I'll just scroll through it for you here. This is the first home page and I'm going to build the other pages. So see you tomorrow.